Hello, everyone, and welcome to iReddit, bringing you your daily dose of the internet for Wednesday, May 31st, 2017. I'm Michael Schwann. And I'm literally sliding into this podcast like Indiana Jones underneath the door, grabbing my hat along the way. Under the name of? Nathan. Wood. <laughs> Please remember, everyone, you can help support our show by going to patreon.com slash daily internet. Welcome to those that, that are viewing us at our new live broadcast time. We go live on Facebook at 6 p.m. Alaska time, 7 p.m. if you're on the West Coast, 10 p.m. if you're on the East Coast. Nathan, how are you doing today? Dude, everything was a completely normal day until I got on the bus to go home. Tell me this. Tell me the story. So I'm on the bus going home. And apparently, we had to stop for a second or two, <clears throat> because APD was called to come pick up a crazy guy at a bus stop. Okay. So, we stop before the train tracks, and luckily, just as we go over the train tracks, I hear them go down. But we were this close to being actually late for the show. I'm literally like... As you started the show, I wasn't anywhere in all of those things, and they had just loaded on my computer as it happened. Well, it's all working out then. I, I guess so. I it's, guess. I guess everything's become normalized, except I still have to put away my laundry, if you couldn't notice. Nah, I, I have some that needs put away too, but you can't see it from here. Oh. Either way, yeah, my day was pretty good. Um, uh, my job's real boring right now, and I'm still trying to find a new one, but God damn it, there's so many people Dude. that want new jobs. So I, I finished um, all of my work again. You know, I, we were caught up on FEDs. We are caught up on civil uh, cases for district and superior because I've just been working them, right? Yeah. So I was like, all right, I, I have like an hour before lunch, maybe like a little less, 45 minutes. I'm going to type out the backstory to this D&D &D game that I have to do on Fridays, right? Okay. And it, instantly it clicked in my head what's going to happen for their uh, back history, like the, the history of that continent that, that they're on. Okay. And I'm, I'm really excited. I've actually got like four or five paragraphs that are written. And after, after the show, one of my friends uh, who's going to be playing, Josh, He's going to come over and different Josh than you know. Um, sure. Josh also has a last name that is a material, and I appreciate that. He is Josh Stone. Um, so he's going to come over. We're going to discuss Pathfinder because he's never played Pathfinder. Um, and we're going to talk about this uh, this planet that we're making that's going to be our, our continued world. Just Sick. like you, you have y your world with the nine rings. That is a very, very fun fucking plane of existence i'll tell you that good use it so it's, an, it's nine planes of existence no we're gonna we're gonna do uh we're gonna do our own continent that's constantly I, I, evolving I, I didn't mean use mine i meant use it as like inspiration to drive oh, yeah, yours yeah, yeah. um yeah, sarah yeah, in the chat room asked if i got a haircut I, I got a haircut like a week ago but i just keep on doing different things with it so it looks different every other day or so because i don't know what i'm actually doing with it yet yeah, I don't know if I want to grow mine out again and be, like, really sexy again, or if I want to do <laughs> something different with it. Um, so, I mean, like, yesterday... I could bring sexy back. Yesterday, I had it going the other direction from the direction it's going now. Whereas today, it's, it's swooped to the left, whereas yesterday, it swooped to the right. So, most of the time, I'm looking to the right, though, so it's going to look different on, on the side that the camera sees most often. You have it swooped like Natalie Dormer? Uh, sure... Uh, I'm nowhere is that near as sexy fine as half smile. Yeah, I'm nowhere near as fine as Natalie Dormer, though. It's true, but give me that half smile, baby. And you'll see it in like 60 seconds. In like an hour. <laughs> uh, Ten. Man yep. aims to mow grass in all 50 states for those in need. Uh, this was submitted by Gore75 to our uplifting news. Guy has started a non-profit organization and is trying to encourage young men around the world to help people with mowing their yards. That's what's up. It's mostly going to be engineered. That's really nice of him. Is he going to drive around in one of those driving mowing apparatuses? Um, he has a push mower that he's driving around the country to mow lawns because he personally wants to mow lawns in all 50 states. He, he is also he's trying to organize other people mowing. to help. Schmowing? Is he like old style push mowing without an engine? No, no, no. It it it, okay. it has an engine. Um, that scared me for a second. The the organization mows lawns for single mothers, veterans, and older Americans. 
I mean, if he's going to use one of those old, old push mowers, he might as well walk around with a fucking scythe and just whack the goddamn... Those old push mowers, if they're sharp, they work. Yeah, well, that's like four fucking sides on repeat rotating over and over again. That's all it is. Yeah, it works great. Um, Matthew in the stream says, uh, cracks open vodka during stream. No, it is a gin and tonic. Get so it right, not far scrub. Off. Jeez. You think you drink vodka at a time like this? No. I don't drink vodka much anymore in general. It's because vodka is expensive. It's not, I mean, it's not even that. Like, you can get cheap bottles of vodka from Costco. You can get Just, cheap from Costco. I don't enjoy it. Sure. Ah, dude, this is where we got the bottles of gin. Nine. U.S. missile defense system successfully shoots down ICBM in first live fire test of its kind. This was submitted by Abscess2 to our technology. So ICBMs are intercontinental ballistic missiles. These are the big giant ass long range missiles that go up into space and come back down into the atmosphere to bomb somebody from way the fuck away. Um, we have a global defense system that's supposed to be in place to prevent that from happening. Like if someone shoots them at us, we had built it to be like, yeah, it'll stop it. But we never actually knew if it worked. We did a live fire test, the very first one ever, and it works. That's pretty fucking sick. Yep, and this is a great thing because it shows the rest of the world that we do have the ability to do this. Yeah, it's like, hey, don't you fucking do it because we're going to fucking destroy it. And this is purely defensive because basically what it does when a missile goes up into the atmosphere, it's detected, we fire a basically another type of missile, much smaller, much faster, that's just supposed to get there in time to blow it up while it's outside of the Earth's atmosphere. That's really cool. It's really cool and kind of crazy. That's fucking, that's goddamn science. That's like, that's like some Tony Stark shit right there. Yeah, totally is. I don't know what my hair is doing anymore. It's doing crazy things. I messed with it too much. Now it's angry. <laughs> but yeah, so we have the... So are these strictly defensive or can you fire them? So this system is strictly defensive. Now, we have our own ICBMs. We have our own intercontinental ballistic missiles that we could shoot if offensively, but this system is purely for defense. Okay. This th this entire system is purely to keep ICBMs from, well, hitting us. We had to have... We, we have to have as, as much defensive capabilities as possible for the mainland of, uh, of America. Yeah... Like, I don't, you know, I'm gen, not that I want to find out, but I'm genuinely curious how an invasion of, of America would go. They would have to lay siege to us by cutting off our waterways. Like, it would be so difficult. When it comes to, like, trade and economics, they would have to, they would have to beat our Navy. That's the problem. Because, like. Because they're not, they're not going to be able to, to just, sure, they'll fly up and they might bomb us all willy nilly, but that's. Fuck no, dude. No, They're not gonna get. They'll do it once. They won't get anywhere near us again. Specifically, landfall is what I'm talking. Like trying to storm the shores of America. You would have to get past the Navy, <laughs> lay siege to America for like five or er, or ten years, so that we don't get any form of of exports imported into the country, and then after after we start running low. Then you can start storming the gates. Sounds terrible. Dude, we're essentially, like, you, we're, it's, it's not Im impregnable, but it's fucking close. Uh, all the way up until friggin' Canada old yellers us. I don't, I don't know if Canada has the capability of shooting us in the head. Gotta be careful of those Canadian super spies. I... There's fucking everywhere. No, at this point, like... Are you a Canadian super spy? God fuck damn Shut up, it. Michael. Shut the fuck up, Michael. Eight. Woman, 19, is sentenced to death by stoning for adultery at it by a tribal court after she was raped at gunpoint by her cousin in Pakistan. This was submitted by Jorge Castle, 1997, to our atheism. Is this still fucking happening? Uh, not, not necessarily. Like, the headline is a little misleading because it doesn't actually tell you the entire story. Initially, you're like, holy shit, fucking what? So, 19-year-old woman was raped by her cousin at gunpoint. 
They have police in Pakistan, but instead of reporting it to police, she reported it to her local um, tribal council. Kind of like city council, but more religious. We have some of those um, in America. They're just um, usually Native American based. Right. Tribal council said that she had uh, sex out of marriage and sentenced her to death. Um, and they were not going to be pursuing any action against the alleged rapist. Um, and then after that, her, the girl and her father immediately went to the police. And the police are now, <laughs> police were like, uh, no, I think fucking not. And are going to arrest the tribal council and the rapist. Although they can't find any of them now. Fuck, uh, they were going to arrest the tribal council too? Yep. That's awesome. This is great justice being struck into the hearts of these people. Because you don't do that anymore. <laughs> no, that's so fucking archaic. I mean, being stoned to death sounds great, guys. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's, but it's not what you think. It's crazy. It, it, it's crazy. and Contrary to popular belief, nobody's ever been stoned to death. Well... Not stoned by marijuana, but stoned in, like, stones. That's that's the joke. Yep, I know. I'm not even... No. Any... Now that you completely derailed my mind... <laughs> it, it, it amazes me that stuff like this happens at all, though. And, like... First, condemn the, the, the rape in general. But, I mean, it, it's like, what was it? Like, three years ago, four years ago, that a woman was gang-raped in Saudi Arabia in Dubai, and she was the one that was arrested because she had sex out of wedlock? Yeah, I remember that. Like, that's... That doesn't... Mm -mm, that logic is so flawed to me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... I don't, I don't understand it. I guess it's just a different culture that you just is deep rooted in their culture. Maybe I guess I don't know. I, it, so often when I I read or hear about things like that, I, I I very often feel that it's more along the lines of like just trying to power trip and maintain control over things in the most extreme way possible. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean that's just how people j are in general. I suppose it's just. Depressing. Everyone's trying to vie for power. You know, I, I would just like enough power to have the money to not be in debt. Th that's like 90% of Americans, dude. Welcome to the club. That's like 94% of the world. Yeah, welcome to the fucking club. I, 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 I'm, not a, I'm not a new member, buddy. You've got to realize if you don't care about your debts and everybody else doesn't care about their debts, then is there really a debt? Uh, when they throw you in jail, it is, there is, because you don't care, but the people that you're in debt to care. What if they don't care? Then, then I guess debt doesn't matter anymore. Perfect. We just got to convince everyone that it just doesn't matter anymore. Seven. Thieves using blowtorch to steal from Everett ATM accidentally set cash on fire. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is submitted by VZW Matt to R Not The Onion. <laughs> yep. Everett, Washington. They were trying to break into a ATM. Oh, that was, It was a drive-up ATM, so it was embedded into a wall. So they are trying oh. to cut into the wall and cut into the machine with a blowtorch and set the money on fire. It hurts. Oh, God. Oh, the stupidity. <laughs> And uh, so there's currently a thousand dollar reward from Crime Stoppers and a five thousand dollar reward from the bank if you provide information leading to the arrest and prosecution of the suspects. Oh shit! Damn it! Why can't anyone rob a bank in Anchorage while I'm around? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Today I learned I need to hang out at by ATMs and banks more often. Well, see, normally when people rob an ATM. They take the whole ATM and then take it back to and their shop. And then crack it open yeah. in their own shop. And right. then dismantle the parts and sell off the parts. But it's th really weird that someone would, like, have a, a team just, like, roll up, crack open the safe, pull everything out, and leave, like, fucking Fast and the Furious. Well, and in this case, the ATM was embedded into a wall. You couldn't take it. Pick a different ATM. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of bars around. Like... Seriously, they, they they picked the most difficult way to steal from an ATM possible. Yeah. You would have had more luck robbing a bank. I, 
Don't challenge them, Michael. Like, well, I, 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 have, I have no uh, doubts that they will get caught because there's pictures of these guys, and one of them is wearing like this hoodie <coughs> that has a, the monster logo on it, and then all these patches. Like, if anyone knows this dude, like that clearly is a jacket that he wears a lot. Why would you fucking incriminate yourself like that? Like, it, it's <coughs> there. He, he's so <coughs> not. Oh. Like I'm gonna throw it up here. It, 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 it's gonna look like crap because the yeah for our our, our Everett friends. I don't uh, but, I don't know if anyone from Everett listens to us. I don't either. But seriously, like this guy's jacket is just covered in logos and stuff. It's really obvious. this dude's sponsored as fuck. He is sponsored to like rob ATMs. I guess I don't know. Like the friend in the back. Good job, guy. You're inconspicuous. Like, you got a very neutral color on, hat, can't tell much no, about no, no, you no, at no, all. No, 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 This is just as much his fault as it is the other guy's fault. Because that guy is standing right behind him, and he can see all of those patches. And instead of going, hey, brother, I don't think that it's a good idea to be wearing that jacket. He, he goes, oh, yeah, dude, let's fucking roll up on these dudes and steal this ATM. Steal from this ATM. Stealing an entire ATM would have been easier. Whatever. Right. I understand. But, like, he's just as oblivious to the situation as the other guy. Like, don't don't defend him. Don't be like, good job on you. Better job? Properly. I don't know, man. No. No, no, no. He's just as dumb for not noticing it. He probably is wearing the same shit he wears all day. That's true. Stupid. Yeah. All right, well... Six. A huge explosion. Oh, darn it! It didn't actually change. Let's try it again. Why is this not? Why is this not doing the thing? Do the thing. Do the thing for the video. There we go. A huge explosion has hit the Afghan capital Kabul. Eighty dead and three hundred and fifty injured. This is submitted by Madam One to Our World News. So there isn't a a source yet. Um. Taliban has denied it. There's been no word from the Islamic State. A huge explosion hit directly in the embassy district of the capital of Afghanistan, which is Kabul. Um, this was during rush hour traffic this morning. Over 80 people are confirmed dead and over 350 have been confirmed injured. Yeah, I, I remember reading this this morning on, on BBC. It was... They had pictures that were, oh god. It it left a, a literal crater in the ground. Yeah, this, it it was a literal fucking hole. Like it, it it it's a massive hole in the ground and buildings for miles had all of their windows blown out. It was a extremely massive explosion. Mm-hmm. Um, and one of the things that I realized that we used to do that we haven't do, done the last couple of times that we've had to report stories like this, and I want to do so again now, is that we used to take moments of silence for when these things happen. And I think we should do so again. Sure. Um, so I'm going to get into this. And so we know that there are 80 confirmed dead, so let's have an 80 second silence. So everybody, if you, if, I understand if you're driving or working or something, if you're not able to just take a moment because you have to continue doing your job, but if you can, when you can, just take a moment because there's nothing that we can do. There's nothing that you can do that I can do that any of us can really do. Like, I mean, sure, you could donate like $20 to the Red Cross or whatever, but it only goes so far. There's not much that we can do from where we are besides just recognize the atrocity that, that has happened and hope that it doesn't happen again. So, if everyone, if you'll just join me for an 80-second silence for those that have been lost, starting right now.
All right, everybody. Thank you. Um, we will move on from this since we often realize that there's little to be said past what happened. And we will continue on with the rest of today's news. Five. Comey to testify publicly about Trump confrontations. This is submitted by the Messiahs 1001 to our politics. So he's not going... This is exciting. Yeah, he's not going to sp speak out on the Russian probe investigation. This is purely going to be him speaking about if and when Trump came to talk to him and what he talked to him about. Specifically in this case, it's going to be if Trump ever asked him to stop investigations, whether it was into Trump or his campaign or any of, the, or any of his... Um, uh, cabinet or anything like that because if he did that is an attempt at an obstruction of justice that's you asking someone hey can you you know just stop looking into that i'd really appreciate it which is bad you shouldn't do that especially not as president and it's incredibly illegal <laughs> yeah it's really <laughs> illegal and so with and that you can't you can't uh fucking you can't do illegal shit as president you're not supposed to anyway right Robert Mueller, who is the new appointed uh, head for the FBI, specifically for the Russian investigation, um, he has spoken to James Comey, and they have you know reached an agreement on how this is going to be conducted. And then after he gives his public testimony, he'll be sitting down for a public interview with uh, Robert Mueller. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, we don't know when this is going to happen. It could happen in the next couple of days or early next week. But sometimes, in, sometime in the next couple of weeks, if it happens on a day that we report, Monday through Thursday, then we will give you an update on it. Even otherwise, we might still give you an update on it if we remember to do so. Otherwise, though, just... I feel like it's going to be something we're going to be talking about for days after. Probably. But we'll see what happens. Because, like, if it gets reported on a Friday, we don't do a show on a Friday. But if you want us to do a show on a Friday, Patreon dot com slash daily internet help us get a little bit higher up there in the support levels um first off at a hundred dollars a month i will do a wrap and I, I i realize that is you know basically a reason for you not to support us 150 dollars a month will get nathan to shave his face uh there's multiple tiers above that of things that we will do and conduct and all of that kind of fun stuff so if you can get us get us up there we'll give you more shows per week as well and to the point that we are reporting every single day of the week Otherwise, we may even like make some t-shirts or something that'll be cool yeah yeah, it'd be cool. But right now, I don't believe we'd sell more than, like, two. I don't think we could afford more than two. That's that's fair. Yep. All right. Four. President Trump tweets, quote, Despite the <laughs> constant negative press cuffafa, Twitter explodes. Cuffafa. Cuffafa. Uh, this was submitted by Forgot It Twice to our politics. Cuffafe. Cuffafe. Cuffif. So... It's hey. like it's like instead of meme, it's meme. Sure. So late last night, right after midnight, Trump's time. Trump tweets out, despite the constant negative press, kafefe. And Kafif. everyone, we already we just went over this literally seconds ago. Like, and everyone was like, so is he just leaving it up there? And he didn't take it down for six hours. And he's probably asleep, dude. Yeah, but I, did you not like? It's half a tweet. Like you misspelled coverage, coverage probably, and then you just like oh hit, like sneezed and hit tweet or just like oh that's good enough, and then just like threw your phone and went to sleep. Yeah, that's not how people normally work. Well, he's not normal people. That's fair. Ah, jeez, my brain, it, I had to sneeze so bad, and I didn't end up sneezing, and now I'm upset. Maybe he was asking for more coffee. Maybe? But, what? The, yeah, I mean, when you Despite, say negative press coffee? Yeah. Despite the negative, the constant negative press coffee. Negative press coffee. Well, there is press coffee, you know, like, but I don't know what negative press coffee is. Is that where it's... It's like really bad coffee. McDonald's? That's not coffee. That's burnt water. Well, <laughs> burnt water with chocolate stirred in it. Exactly. It's not coffee. That's fair. So, either way, if you see anything that says Kofefe, know that people are just joking about Trump. I can't wait for someone to get it tattooed on themselves. 
Oh god. You know, like all the t-shirts and like stuff that's for sale already is one thing. If if anyone tattoos themselves, like I humanity is lost. Guys, at 250 Three. Sorry, go ahead. At $250 donations. No. I'll tat I'll tattoo dick butt on my butt. Oh. Okay. You just want dick butt on your butt. I mean, I uh, really all right. So the the my my idea for an ass tattoo actually is um. Uh, fuck, what was it? It's Hello Kitty's face, and in the Hello Kitty font is gonna say hashtag YOLO. No. I will not allow you to do that. The other one is the magic tap symbol. That that's a bit more acceptable. Yeah. Ugh. Three. Muslim groups raised $500,000 for the victims of the Portland attacks. This is submitted by Kyle to our news. So, yeah, this is in rega regards to the two individuals that were stabbed to death and the one person that was left in critical care after a wild person on the friggin' train just decided to... Like, he was... You, you, he, so this did dude... You hear, did, did you hear about how his, uh, his fucking um, arraignment went? No. They brought him into court, and he immediately began screaming, like, racist shit. Wow, and okay. very negative shit. And they held him in contempt and took him away. So, he was screaming a bunch of racist stuff at two Muslim women on a train. Uh, a few people tried to protect those Muslim women, in which case this dude pulled out a knife and proceeded to start stabbing them. Two people were, were killed. One person was seriously injured. Um, this was a initiative to try to raise $60,000 to help cover the funeral costs for the two families. That was raised in five hours and has already shot up to $500,000. The excess funds are going to go towards education. Ooh, that's fucking awesome. Yep. Yeah, we don't need that kind of fucking negative shit being spread around. Fuck this dude. He I, he should go... If he does... I don't know if they have the death penalty in Oregon, but if they don't, then I just, he just needs to stay in jail for a long time. I feel like we should stop doing death penalties and we should start doing exiling again. Send them to some random friggin' island like Napoleon? Like a leper colony. I don't think those exist anymore, we need, we, need a, we need a modern-day Australia. I mean, you could just send them to the outback of Australia and wish them the no. best of luck. No, that's rude to Australia. They have to clean up all of those dead bodies. The fucking <laughs> coral reef is already fucked, dude. Let's not do this even more. That's okay. I will accept that. Ah, uh, oh, darn it. I hit copy instead of paste. Everything is ruined. You ruined it! Spoiled it! It, it, it didn't paste anything. Soiled it! Oh no, now it's gone. <laughs> I swear I know how to do this sometimes. You don't. No, you don't. Like I said... Stop. Why are you lying, boo? I said sometimes. God. Two. Pornhub posts Putin's critic Alexei Navalny's anti... Alex A. Alexei Navalny's anti-government... Alex... Alex A. Navalny. Alex A. Navalny's anti-government film online after Russian court bans it. This was submitted by Reed Goo to Our World News. Come on, guys, you gotta pronounce his name properly. I, how what the fuck would I know? Cause you you have me. That's here. fine. I I've taken Russian class. I, I can know, help you with these and that's names. why you corrected me, which is fine. But don't expect right, me to know. Right, I had to, to correct know. you like three times. Just pause. Let me say the name. I and said it. I said it. <laughs> but you don't even have to. So if it comes to a name I don't know, I should just stop talking and be like, Nathan, go. Yeah, sure, why not? Even if it's like a French name? No, only only Russian name. How would I know it's Russian? Because we're talking about Putin. What is that does not necessarily mean this dude is Russian. Are you assuming their nationality, sir? Yes, I am assuming Alexei Navalny is motherfucking Russian. That is insensitive. Due to the nature of his name and the nature of the fucking post. That is insensitive. That is culturally, culturally offensive, sir. Is it? No. Anywho. I like what Kendall says. It's so easy to tell what Russian names are. Unless you're stupid like me. I... 
I can't fucking argue. Shit, you got me there. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, bud. Well done. You won this argument. <laughs> All right. Anyway, Alexei Navalny. Alexei. That's what I said. You know, you said Alexei. Oh, Alex. Why the fuck? God, shit. Alex A. Navalny's video that was criticizing the entire Russian government about just, well, the way things are going was banned in Russia. And then Pornhub was like, hey, we'll host it. And then they posted it. And Alex A. was like, I'm not deleting it anyway, but thanks, Pornhub. And they're like, yeah, it's listed under professional and hardcore. Fuck me. <laughs> God damn it, why? Pornhub is like the coolest of all of the internet porn services. Fuck RedTube. Fuck you, porn. Pornhub is where it's at. How many others do you know, Nathan? Uh, let's not go into that. <laughs> You've named three. Can we get two more? Uh, you can. I'm not going to say them. <laughs> Are all the other ones embarrassing? No. No! He says, his voice go going up a couple octaves. What? Why would you ever? Oh, Lord, Nathan. What are we going to do with Lord, you? Lord, Lord, Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am Lord. Anywho. One. Climate change and the Paris Agreement. Oh, man. There's a lot of it, huh? Yeah. Like... All right. So, we're going we're gonna to shot... This was submitted Wait, wait, by wait, yes, wait. This... Nathan, wait. <laughs> We'll just shotgun through the titles real quick, and then we'll start talking about it, okay? Okay. Indian Prime Minister Nareen... You want, you, want, you want this one? Narendra Modi. Told German Chancellor Angela Merkel in talks in Berlin on Tuesday that India would stay in the Paris Climate Accord even if the United States pulled out. This was submitted by Yes This Low to Our World News. New York Mayor City will uphold Paris Climate Agreement if Trump doesn't. This is submitted by Washa Boo Boo to Our Politics. Elon Musk just threatened to leave Trump's advisory councils if the United States withdraws from the Paris climate deal. This is submitted by Alkaline Mo to Our Futurology. Trump has reportedly decided to withdraw from the Paris climate deal. This has been uh, submitted by Chick Chicken Lil to Our en Environment. Thanks to Trump, the United States has now has a more backward stance on climate change than North Korea. They just signed to the Paris Agreement today. This was submitted by Aiden King to our Blue Midterm 2018. Scoop. Trump is pulling the United States out of the Paris climate deal. This was submitted by My Name is Johnny to our Politics. So now let's actually talk about what all that is. So at the G7 summit, we already talked about how Donald Trump was not very friendly or cooperative when it came to talks about climate change in the Paris Agreement and said that he would need a few days to decide on it. And he tweeted earlier to this week that he would make his final decision and announce his decision later this week. It is Wednesday, so he has a couple days to do so still if he's going to follow his own timeline. Now, the thing is, though, is that the United States is the richest country in the world and is one of the largest leaders in terms of progressive actions. If this is not progressive. If we do not join the Paris Agreement, it does not send a good message to all the other countries to join the Paris Agreement. Because a lot of countries literally just do whatever the United States does. Well, yeah, because we're fucking leaders. Now, India has come out and say, even if the United States doesn't, we're still going to do it. The city of New York says, even if Trump says he doesn't want the United States in it, we're still going to do it as much as we Ke can for our city. California has been like... Hey, guys, we're going to agree with China if they're all for this climate thing. Yep. And uh, the, one of the ones that surprised me, Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla and SpaceX and helped create PayPal, um, he told Trump that he's he he'll, he's leaving if they don't join the Paris Agreement. He's like, exactly. I, and he said he's done everything he can. He's explained everything of why it's important, why you need to do it, and everything. And he's like, if you guys aren't going to listen to the people that you bring on as advisors, there's no reason for me to be here. I mean, that's understandable. Yeah. He's, he's supposed to be there for a reason, and that's to advise. He's fucking trying his heart out to advise Trump to not fucking do this. Well, and Elon Musk is like the real world Tony Stark. Like, the dude is. Like, super passionate about everything, has money coming out of his friggin' facial pores, like... Yeah, all he needs is a fucking Iron Man suit, and there to be bad guys. And you got it. Yeah. Well, kind of. I guess Tony Stark made his company, well, inherited his company be based off of weapons and arms trades. 
I mean, so it's kind of different. Give Elon Musk a little while. He's in SpaceX, which involves rocket technology. He's not that far away. Sure. Um, and so, according to inside sources, these sources have not been named, but they are apparently legitimate sources that are trustworthy. Trump has already made his decision, just not announced it, and his decision is to withdraw from the Paris Climate Agreement. Man, people are spoiling shit like crazy. I hope he goes in the far left field and he's like, dude, those guys are spoiling shit. We can't let this be a real leak. Let's sign on to this Paris Agreement. Just to spite them. Exactly. I that, need this to happen. That's a nice thought, but... We, we, we talked about the problems with the bipartisan system before about how one side is always just looking to shut down or un, shut down or undo what the other side did. And the Paris Agreement is part of the legacy that Barack Obama was fighting for. And so with that alone, I feel like Trump would want to withdraw from it for that reason and no other. It's like, this is something Obama All agreed right. to. I'm against that. Ah, flip table. So here's the thing, right? When I run for president, oh god, I'm, I'm gonna run on the campaign of haha, gotcha, right? Where I'm gonna say one thing to rile people up, and then I'm gonna vote the exact opposite way. That's I'm gonna pull a haha, gotcha. That's pretty fucked up. Yeah, are you still gonna do the show? Just do the show every night still, and have people in here like yelling at you about political stuff? Yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna be like. Well, you know what? This is what I think about immigrants. We're going to kick them all out of this country. We're not going to have a single immigrant in this fucking country, including white people. We're going to give this entire country back to the Native Americans. Gotcha. Gotcha. I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm going to take the rest of the Native Americans' land. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> a little too far? Yeah, yeah, just a bit. Just, just okay, a bit. I'll, I'll tone it. I'll, 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 I'll find a proper mediation, like a, a moderate level. Good God. All right. Either way, though, there's not a lot that we can, we can see that a lot of people are going to be fighting against it, even if Trump and the United States does decide to pull out from the Paris Climate Agreement. If that is so, then that's that's really unfortunate for, like, the world. Because, like, here's the thing, is that people there's a lot of climate change deniers. Like, no, that's not true, blah, 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 blah. If you do the stuff that fights against climate change, whether it's real or not, what you get out of it is a better planet. It's true. Like, there's not yeah, a I downside mean, here. I, aside from the initial cost setup, like, and even then, it's really not that bad when you think about it. No, especially because there's a lot of ways to make money from it. Mm hmm But anywho, oh, missed the button. I'm Mr. Meeseeks! Look at me! Nathan, what'd you care about in the last 24 hours? Uh, I read a couple news articles today, but none of them really wowed me. Um... I, I did write that bit of the, the history of, of my D&D &D thing, and it made me realize that they, I have really big moments where I'm inspired. But then after, like, that initial inspiration, I, I get writer's block and I can't finish that thing. Sure. So I really hope this D&D campaign is different. Because, like, I made up the oh, oh, pretty much the entire history of a... Um, of a um, a country, a continent, essentially, within the span of like ten minutes, because I don't know, it just kind of flowed out of my fingertips. Uh, I wish you luck. I thank you. I I'm I'm fairly excited about it. I think I think the, I I think the history is pretty good. I think I need to work on it a little bit, but you know. Cool. So. <laughs> Uh, I did 20 minutes on my exercise bike yesterday. Nice. And uh, worked up a sweat and made my knees angry at me. But uh, got to start somewhere, and mm -hmm. it was uh, it was pretty great. I'm gonna do it again after I get the show done and posted and all that. Mm -hmm. And uh, in doing so, I started a new anime. It's called Game On. It's about this 18 year old girl that signs on to. Fuck you, dude. What? What's wrong? There's literally One Punch Man. Oh. <laughs> There's literally Game of Thrones. <laughs> There's fucking My Hero Academia. <laughs> There's Parasite. That one's fucking over. Uh. There's fucking Rage of Bahamut. That one's over too. Well, actually, it's kind of over. <laughs> so Fuck you. <laughs> so 
it's about this 18 year old girl who signs on to be a character designer for a video game development company and uh, finds out that a lot of her like favorite developer people work there and it, it's all cute and adorable and stuff. The fucking shitty slice of life compared to all these other fucking. <laughs> uh, so uh, Nathan is being driven insane, in which uh, I'll, I'll fucking murder you, Michael. I started. Okay, hang on. Here's another thing that I could say that I cared about that maybe it'll it'll make you somewhat happy in some way. I watched three episodes of Community last night. Hey, that's pretty good. What season? One. Okay. The first three episodes. Oh uh, yeah, no, I, I get it. Uh, Community has like my favorite running joke in all of in all of um like TV history, which is okay. So over the span of three seasons, this happened three seasons, and one ep one of the episodes in one of the seasons, someone mentions Beetlejuice. Another one, someone mentions Beetlejuice, and then the third season or the third of the seasons in the sequential order, someone mentions Beetlejuice, and immediately as soon as that happens, behind them walks. A person dressed like Beetlejuice. Wow, that is a long... That, that, that's that is a, a fucking running gag. That is a long haul. Good lord. It was perfect, though. Jeez. Wow, that... Good job, I guess? Yeah, dude. It's fucking legit. Alright. But with that, everybody, we're gonna go ahead and get work working on... <laughs> Work on getting out Wait, of here. Wait, I got it. I got it. I want to use it. Take two. Uh, I, I was laughing at Sarah's comment in the chat room. Damn it. <laughs> she said porn hub and pull out. Why would you Why would you do this, Sarah? I don't know. Anyway, everybody. Um, if you want to help support the show, one of the ways that we I'll ask you first is to share the show. Share us do on it. Facebook. Share us on Twitter. Share us wherever you can just to help gain us some more visibility. If you can't support us financially or any other way, if you've already given us do reviews it. and stuff like that, just share us. Help more people find the show. If you enjoy the show and you like it, you think some other people would like it, share it out there in the world to get some more people watching it. Otherwise, though, follow us on social media. We are on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. All of those are at iReditCast. Myself, I'm at Schwan Michael, and Nathan is at Bimenstein. You can also find the show on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, basically any podcatcher that you can think of. Leave us a review on, on any of those to help us also gain visibility. Or, of course, you can support us financially at patreon.com slash daily internet. Also, if you want to submit stories of your own, things that you want us to talk about, or you have feedback to provide, or you just want to say, hey, or you have a question for us, anything at all, if you're curious what Nathan's favorite brand of cologne is, send us an email to our inbox, which is feedback.iredit at gmail.com, or you can call and leave us a voicemail at 508-738-2278. Do it. Everybody, that is your 297th dose of the internet. I am Michael Schwann. And I'm the Senate. And please remember, everyone. Don't get eliminated! <laughs> Have a good day, everyone. Goodbye. Do it. Do it. <laughs>